And so it's almost 2 a.m. Pacific time, which means it's well after both of closed. And I am still just genuinely confused as to what happened. So if anyone wants to offer some insight, um, I'm happy to fucking take it. I just also think that maybe what I've noticed is that men are just genuinely not as concerned as women and don't quite take our concerns as seriously and I don't know that fucking sucks because I met a lot of women tonight who are just genuinely so fucking scared um so yeah let me let me know I guess I hate to be the person that gets on here and cries but this could this could break me and my parents apart because they just don't understand what they voted for and like what it means and the bigotry and hatred that they stand behind and how I like am trying to be a good person. I'm not Catholic like they are, which is ironic because isn't like religion supposed to make you love. But I could see it like breaking me and my parents apart because they just don't get it and they don't get that they voted for someone who's gonna make my friends lives hell my life's okay i'm a white woman but my friends are not gonna be okay forgive me for being a little emotional here but what the fuck is going on? People in the future are going to look back at this time and they're going to be like, what the fuck? What the fuck happened? Because we were progressing when Obama got elected. I really feel like we were, we were progressing. We were going in the right motherfucking direction. But then Trump comes in and he gives a voice to the voiceless. He gives a voice to the criminals, to the racists, to the white motherfuckers who want to be back on top. I don't want to touch another man with a 10 foot motherfucking pole. Ladies, where are we going? For B movement for real. Fuck men. Fuck all of you. And fuck you ugly dumb bitches who voted for him too. You guys are a piece of shit. You guys have internalized fucking mistakes misogyny and you're dumb you're stupid oh and all the climate change shit going out the motherfucking window because it's a hoax bro we're cooked we're cooked this is our last motherfucking year on this goddamn planet and to be able to appoint three more fucking supreme court justices or whatever the fuck he's he's able to get more motherfuckers that believe the same beliefs that he believes into office and i guess that's what you guys want that's what you guys want you guys want to be radical christians you guys are jesus christ right <laughs> I was just walking down the street to go get my medication because I'm out and I need it for today. <laughs> and I saw a woman walking her two kids and she had this look on her face. <laughs> and I looked at her, we made eye contact, we both kind of nodded. <laughs> like we were both <laughs> just devastated. And you could just tell in her, in her eyes. <laughs> I can't believe this country did this again. <laughs> Why did I let myself have hope? <laughs> Y'all wanna violate my stuff? I don't give a fuck about none of that because all, all, all the people that's violating my freaking life right now are Trump supporters. Y'all the only ones happy about this shit right now. Y'all the only ones. Y'all see I got my blue on. I done cried so fucking much that my blue one, but I have to wear red because this is my freaking job. If I didn't have to wear this stupid ass color, I wouldn't be wearing it. Trust and believe me. Trust and believe me. I hate red so fucking much in my, right now I don't even know what to do. I 
I've never hated red so much in my life until now. I hate red. Hate the fact that I have to wear this color today. I really do. Because I don't represent Trump at all. Go Trump. Honey, you gonna say, we, we'll see if you still scream go Trump in the next few fucking months. Let's see. We'll see. All y'all say go Trump, we'll see if y'all still screaming that. We'll see. Because I bet you you won't. Because that man about to walk up in that White House. And he about to tear shit up. He about to tear shit up. It's about to be so much police brutality. It's about to be so many black men being pulled over and gunned down for no freaking reason. It's about to be so much unnecessary white racism. And guess what? It's just gonna get looked, it's gonna get looked past. Ain't nobody gonna say nothing about it. It's gonna get looked past with him in the office. Oh, white privilege is gonna be so high right now. And it's so sad. It's so sad. Y'all really voted for a man to control our pussies. Y'all really voted for a man that want to make sure your ass can't never get an abortion. Y'all voted for a man so if you get raped, you will not, you have to keep that baby. Y'all voted for a man who's going to keep track of every miscarriage and pregnancy that goes, that happens. A man controlling our pussies. A man! A man who don't even carry kids, don't even know shit about carrying kids. Y'all let him control our bodies. I'm a lesbian, I don't have those issues with abortion and all of that. But I know for a fact people get raped on a daily basis. And for them to, force, to be forced to carry kids, it's sick. It's sick. It's very sick. I'm not responding to any of y'all. <laughs> Cause y'all don't get under my skin. If you're not for Kamala, I don't give a fuck about y'all. It is what it is. And if you're saying MAGA, you're a fucking maggot. You're a maggot. So you're a maggot. If you're saying MAGA, you're a maggot. That's what I'm gonna look at. Cause you put MAGA on here, you're a maggot. 